The Lionel Post-War 2035, its features and history presented to you by Monk Trains. Please like and subscribe for more videos in this series on Lionel's memory machines. The Lionel Post-War 2035 was produced in 1950 through 1951. Due to its 264 wheel arrangement, it is classified as an Adriatic-class locomotive. However, Lionel branded and marketed this loco as a K4 Pacific type, as it was specifically created to bear a strong resemblance with the Pennsylvania K4 Pacific locomotive class, which, at the time, was a familiar sight for passengers and train lovers along the East Coast and the Northeast Corridor. Lionel sold O27 sets to run on tighter curves and smaller layouts, and the 2035 was designed to run on the tighter O27 curves. It was sold in these sets or alone. The 2035 came with a 6466W whistle tender, along with a 2035 hundred motor with a smoke unit. The 2035 was marketed as a mid-range, mid-sized locomotive. It shared the same boiler casting with the 675 and 2025 Lionel Adriatics. It was the only Adriatic which had magnet traction. To collectors today, it is known as a quality and reliable locomotive which takes small turns well and packs a lot of power and excitement into a compact design. Though it was a relatively common locomotive, it is paradoxically a little harder to find in the vintage market. A well-maintained, good quality specimen should retain its value over time. The prototype for this locomotive was the K4 Pacific, the most familiar and ubiquitous locomotive in the Pennsylvania Railroad fleet, carrying passenger and freight up and down the corridor up until the 50s. It was the main form of motive power on the standard railroad of the world for 30 years, up until the diesel started to replace them, right around the time that the 2035 came out. Lionel wanted customers to recognize this popular locomotive in the model, as it can be seen with the Cyclops-like head light position and the Pensy Keystone logo on the front. The other significant and instantly recognizable feature that invoked the K4 was the squared off Bell Pair firebox cast into the shell. This firebox was a distinctive feature of the Pennsylvania Railroad steam locos, for all intents and purposes, a trademark. Lion now made some design decisions to make the 2035 shorter and stouter locomotive than the K4 to get around those O27 curves. After trials, Lionel's determined that a four-wheel pilot truck was not workable to make the O27 curves, so they simply reversed the wheel arrangement possibly surmising the most particular of customers would even notice the difference given the models and other similarities to the K4. Here the contrast between the longer K4's 462 arrangement and Thouter 2035's Lionel 264 wheel arrangement can be observed. More recent and intrepid model railroaders have tried but failed to convert the 2035 to a true Pacific, as the four-wheel pilot is too big for the shell and the tight curves normally causing derailments and a shower of sparks.
This has been an overview of the Lionel post-war 2035. Did I miss any important facts about this locomotive? Or do you have one of these? And what locomotives would you like to see next in the series? Please let me know in the comments.